it's Gabrielle and today we're going to be talking about biology predictions. For this video we worked with expert teachers and subject experts to find what tends to come up on the exams and what's predicted to come up. However, you should still take everything in this video with a grain of salt because some surprises can still crop up on the day of the exam. That being said, if you stick through this video then we'll also be discussing some exam techniques and also some resources that you can use to make studying biology better, which will hopefully mean you'll get the marks you deserve on the day of your exam. So let's get straight into it. So what do you need to know for section A? First things first, you're going to have a choice of seven questions, but you only technically need to do five. However, it's always recommended to do an extra question if you have time at the end of the exam, because these are quite quick to do. And also your top five will be counted regardless if you've done six or seven. For this section, question one tends to be food, food tests and biomolecules, and question two tends to be about ecology. So if you revise short questions in these topics, you're going to be covered for at least two out of the five questions that you need to do. And also it's noteworthy that in the exam you might see a true or false question like this and this is a brilliant one to do as an extra question because they're relatively quick to go through and you can always hazard a guess. You have a 50-50 chance of it being right. The great thing about biology is that the questions in this section tend to repeat themselves all of the time. So if you go through enough past exam paper questions, you're kind of sorted for this section. And especially if you know ecology, biomolecules, food tests, and foods. On the StudyFix website, we actually make revision a lot easier because we break down past exam paper questions into easy topics. So if you go on the site and if you want to go over food questions or biomolecule questions, you'll find every question has come up in that topic for the last 20 years. Going through past exam paper questions is the best way to prepare for the section. Before we continue, I think it's worth mentioning that ecology is a big part of the exam because you're almost guaranteed one short question in ecology and one long question. This means it can be at least 20% of your exam. It's a topic you should know really, really well, but it's a topic that I personally struggled with because I did not like ecology very much. And so if you're looking for a free crash course in ecology, then it's actually a topic that's available for free on StudyClicks boost, which is basically self-paced grinds for biology. So if you want to check that out at the end of the video, I will link it down below. And then if you want to have access to all other biology boost topics, you can upgrade to biology boost at a reduced price and we'll leave a discount code below as well. And by the way, just as a quick side note, we will be covering loads of different subjects like maths, English, geography. So to make sure you don't miss any of those videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And so let's move on to experiment questions. So what do you need to know about section B, the experiment questions? So the first experiment option that you will have, question eight, will be from one of these topics from unit one. And then question nine will come from unit two of the course, which will be under these sort of topics. If you want to be covered for this section of the exam, I would really focus on unit one and unit two experiments, which come up in question eight and question nine. This is because question 10 tends to come from any part of the paper and it is really difficult to predict. Like because of the huge range of topics that can come up in this question and also it tends to ask for a little bit more detail than the other Others. You can obviously look at all of the options, but it isn't as easy to do as question eight or question nine. And just so you're aware, we will pop up on the screen all of the questions, all of the experiments that haven't come up since 2018. So these are the experiments that you can technically skim over, but skim over at your own risk because there is a chance that one of them will crop up again this year. So moving on from that, what do you need to know for section C, the long questions? Here you'll have a choice of seven long questions and you only need to do four. Kind of similar to section A, your top four will be counted even if you do five or six, but this is not recommended because these take a while to answer and you'd need a lot of extra time in the exam to attempt a fifth question. Tip number one for the section is that if you know DNA, genetics, and biochemistry, those could be two out of the seven questions you can be asked in the exam. And then tip two is that ecology tends to come up as a long question as well. So if you know DNA, genetics, biochemistry and ecology really 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 well then you're almost guaranteed to sail through at least three of the seven questions that will be asked on the day of the exam. And also if you are really looking to get your H1 in biology will also pop up the most common themes and trends that have been coming up over the last couple of years with relation to biology which is like endangered species, global warming, AI and 
so on. So you can keep these themes in mind when you're revising your biology. For example, you can be asking yourself like, how does AI relate to this topic? How does global warming relate to this topic? And then by doing so, you might have less surprises come up on the day of your exam. And finally, here are the best resources that you should use to study biology. And don't worry, I will be leaving links to everything I mentioned in the description box below. So be sure to leave a like on this video so that you can find it in the future when you're trying to find some resources to study biology. So it's no secret that definitions crop up everywhere and anywhere in the biology exam papers. And if you're kind of struggling with memorizing them, the best way you can go about getting them to stick into your head is to go through StudyClicks flashcards and StudyClicks quizzes. All of these have been made on the StudyClicks website with the exams in mind, so you'll be studying exactly what is relevant to you for the exam. And it is really satisfying to go through a quiz and to complete a deck of flashcards on StudyClicks, so you should definitely check those out. And furthermore, if you are curious about what has come up in the previous years, if you want to see for yourself if you can spot some trends, we actually have these prediction tables on the StudyClick site too that basically break down what topics have come up in what years. And along with that, we have really useful guides on how to study biology, how to get a H1 in biology, everything you need to study biology, all on the StudyClick site. So you're welcome to go and check that out. I really hope this video helps and be sure to comment what subject we should cover next. And of course, best of luck with the study.